On behalf of all faculty, staff, and students at George Brown College's School of Social and Community Services, we would like to thank you for being a valued field placement partner. Your participation in this experiential learning opportunity provides a critical piece of students' learning. Your workplace becomes an extension of the college classroom and helps students connect what they've learned in the classroom to work in the field. We also believe that as a partner, your organization benefits too. We prepare our students with the theory they need to work in your sector, but the students bring passion, excitement, and great ideas to your workplace, all of which we hope you take advantage of. These placements are also a great opportunity for your organization to get direct access to future sector-ready graduates who will have a working knowledge of your organization by the time they complete their fieldwork practicum. As a field supervisor, your role is particularly important. You will work directly with the student on a day-to-day -day basis, teaching, guiding, and mentoring them along the way. During their first week of practice, we recommend that you provide the student with a thorough orientation in order to help them thrive in their new environment. Give them a tour of your facility and the physical space where they will be working. Provide them with any access codes, keys, or instructions related to building procedures. Review all relevant administrative processes and discipline-specific practices of your organization. Provide them with a copy of your rules, regulations, reimbursement policies and procedures, and anything else that may be relevant to their placement. If students are asked to purchase items as a component of their responsibilities, guidelines for permissions and purchasing limits should be discussed in advance of the purchase. Give them an opportunity to be personally introduced to others within your organization. Set performance expectations up front. Discuss their role, responsibilities, and specific tasks that they will be expected to complete. Be sure to review their work schedule and your business hours of operation. Determine how often you will meet one-on-one -on -one with the student. Regular touch points will help to ensure that the student's goals and learning objectives are consistently being met. Outline specific training opportunities and provide details on the training schedule. Be sure to set up access to systems like email, computer systems, and shared computer drives that they will be required to use while carrying out their field work. Review complaint and WSIB claims processes so that students know what to do if a problem arises. We also recommend that you, as the supervisor, discuss the student's individual and professional goals. Review the college's learning contract and timesheets, both of which are required evaluation forms. We ask that you spend time with the student to complete their evaluation form and provide them with concrete feedback for growth, as this process is an important part of their learning journey. We also encourage you to look for opportunities that provide cross-training in the different services of your organization. Look for opportunities for them to participate in special projects and staff meetings to expand their horizons and further build their confidence as a professional. The Faculty Advisor is your direct link between our college and your community organization. Expect them to contact you and visit your location at least once during the student's field experience. Please connect with them directly if you need support to solve any student-related issues, conflicts, or concerns. Once again, the School of Social and Community Services would like to thank you for supporting our students' success.